Once again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So I brought back the Galaxy S10 Plus the Exynos chipset model phone and I am having the extreme ROM Nexus the One UI 7 ROM on this mobile phone. Well, this is a ported ROM but the Galaxy AI features are all working and yes, we will get on the Galaxy S10 Plus, we'll definitely not going to get the stock official One UI 7. If you want to flash this One UI 7 ROM, then I will provide the video link in my video description. Watch that video. Now, today the video is about how to flash the official ported ROM Evolution X on the Galaxy S10 Plus. If you are getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel also if you haven't subscribed it yet. Click the bell icon, click the select all. Thank you. Let me take you to my computer. Link is provided in my video description. Click the link and this official website will get open, right? Must check that the Android 16 is already selected. Then for the downloading, click on the how to install. And definitely you will see that the recovery.img file provided here and the Evolution X 16.0. Basically, this is the Android 16 for the Galaxy S10 Plus. The Evolution X version is actually 11.21 and you can check that this is the official release, right? Definitely check the code name. The Galaxy S10 Plus code name is beyond 2 LTE. Download these two files from this official website. So I have downloaded the Evolution X ROM already on my computer hard drive. And yes, we have to download the platform tools also. Link provided in the video description. This is the recovery.img file. This recovery is actually official recovery of the Evolution X, which can be worked only to flash the uh, Android 16 portrait ROM of the Evolution X. And thanks to the extreme ROM developer who port or hope release the TWRP origin pack. Yes, we have to flash the tar format TWRP origin pack first. Then we will flash the official recovery of the Evolution X. And we have to download the Odin 3.14.1 also. Now, first of all, extract the platform tools in same folder. Then extract the Odin. Then copy the Evolution X ROM file from the downloaded folder. Then open the extracted folder of the platform tools and paste the file here after when file gets copied then rename the file to make the things easy select the file press f2 then give a name rom.zip and press enter key done then go back and open the extracted folder of the odin then double click the odin file click ok on this pop-up window and on Odin, click AP slot. Then go to the downloaded folder and uh, double click to select the Extreme ROM Nexus TWRP Odin pack. Must check that the model number is G975. Double click to select the Odin pack file. Odin is ready. Coming back towards the mobile phone. There are few things that we have to do before flashing the ROM file. Check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged. In case if the battery is below 30%, then charge the mobile phone battery. Save all the internal storage data, otherwise the data will get formatted. The mobile phone is supposed to be on the latest stock firmware, like if you are using any other custom ROM, but before that, you know that your mobile phone were up to date, then there is no need to flash the stock latest firmware back on the mobile phone. Just in case, if you have any other AOSP ROM, then no need to flash anything just follow my method go to the lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe go to accounts and backup then manage accounts in case if you are using samsung account sync it and merge to remove it same way sync the google account then merge remove it to avoid issues later on when well, you have done these things then simply power off the mobile phone always use a good quality of data cable and check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer now you need to check the mobile phone now the important thing is that because i was having a custom rom the mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked in case if your mobile phone bootloader is not unlocked then you need to unlock the bootloader first right and 
save all the data in case if you are going to unlock the bootloader for the first time because unlocking bootloader will always format mobile phone so the data will get lost now we have to boot the phone into odin mode must check the mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off press and hold the volume down key and bixby key make sure to press both buttons properly right then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds the mobile phone will show a warning screen and release both keys immediately right this is the warning screen and on this screen then press the volume up key once to boot the phone into odin mode this is the odin mode screen if you see the kg state is showing checking if the kg state shows pre normal then the recovery will not get flash it is supposed to be show checking right so the phone is booted into odin mode connected already with the computer odin detected my mobile phone because i already installed the samsung android usb driver on my windows well in case if you haven't installed yet then link provided download the samsung android usb driver and install it on the windows now on the odin click options and tick the auto reboot right go back to lock then click start to start flashing the recovery file on the galaxy s10 plus when you see pass message means that done exit the odin and go back to the downloaded folder the mobile phone still booted into odin mode now we have to boot the phone into twrp from the odin mode check the cable must be connected with mobile phone now i will hold the mobile phone in this way so i can press all the buttons properly press the volume up key volume down key and big speak key and power key all four keys at same time when mobile phone the restart release the volume down key first okay when mobile phone shows samsung logo then release the power key okay wait for few seconds now you can release rest both keys which is volume up key and big speak key well the mobile phone will boot into twrp recovery soon so i got the recovery on the mobile phone I'll swipe to allow modifications then first thing first to format the data tap wipe tap format data type y e s tap here when done then go back to the main screen tap reboot and tap recovery once again swipe to allow modifications the internal storage will get appears on the computer screen go back to the downloaded folder and copy the recovery.img file from the downloaded folder go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the recovery file on the internal storage when done then on the mobile phone screen tap install then tap install image select the recovery.img file by tapping on it and scroll down select the recovery partition by tapping on it and then swipe then go back to the main screen tap reboot and tap recovery the evolution x official recovery get appears on my mobile phone first of all tap factory reset then tap format data factory reset then tap format data when done go back to the main screen tap apply update tap apply from adb now on the computer screen double click to open the plate farm tools extracted folder right click on the cmd.exe then left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop up window the command window will open now simply start flashing the rom file by tapping the command adb space side load space rom dot zip press enter key well the rom file will get started transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it will get flash also now all we have to do is to wait Finally the rom is flash and uh, you will see that install completed with status 0 which means that 
perfectly done so reboot system now you can see already highlighted just tap on it so the mobile phone will reboot it and you can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone we do not need to flash the caps because the caps is coming with the rom all we have to do is to wait the mobile phone will start booting very soon and i am done from the computer First boot completed, complete the setup screen. All things went very smooth and very well. So the ROM is getting a latest QS panel which is actually coming with the Pixel devices for the Android 16. Yes, we are also getting latest QS panel with this ROM. Now, they, these are the pre-default applications that are coming with the ROM. You can see that two camera applications are coming and both camera applications working the basic call recorder is application is also there after turning it on then the all the incoming and outgoing calls will get recorded automatically now i will tap settings then i will scroll down one more thing i want to mention here that uh, in these settings there is a, there is an option tap evolver where we can modify the rom the way we like there are bunch of uh, modifications provided in this section come here check it out now i will go to the about phone here we go right and then scroll down I, if i tap the android 16 this is what i got now on my mobile phone evolution x evolution x version is 11.1 .1, which is having android 16 Android security update deed, you can check it out. And PeaceBand version provided, kernel version this one, build maintainer, build date, and build number. If you want to know how the ROM is working, I already uploaded a video of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You can check that video, link provided in my video description. Take a good care of yourself. Well, do not forget to like the video. Do comments in the comment section if you want to ask anything. See you next time. Tata, bye bye.